Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Pisces, I do want to wish you guys, every single one of you guys, a happy Hallow's Eve. Hope you guys have an amazing time, as well as wishing you guys the very best, and hope you guys are staying safe. Let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on in your love life, Pisces. How are you doing, my lovelies? How are these retrogrades treating you guys? Um, for us, it's been very chaotic. The internet went out for two days. Um, the emails have been, for some reason, uh, triggering. It's like, you know, I'm trying to respond to clients. And for some reason, it's going or sending off emails to other emails. It's just weird. Um, and I think it's all the retrogrades that we've been experiencing. Give me one second. We got cards flying out. Um, and it's just been crazy. It's been freaking hectic. But anyways, luckily, we have two planets that recently went direct, Saturn and Jupiter. And we will be going direct with Mercury on the 18th of October. So definitely things are starting to look up and be more, uh, more on the normal side, right? Anyways, let's get into your reading. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please give us clarity in regards to Pisces' love life. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is it that they need to know at this present time? Please paint us a vivid imagery with the cards of what is unfolding and what is coming for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the remaining of the month of October 2021 regarding their love life. Sparing guides, what are the messages for Pisces? For those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, those of you guys that have been with us for a very long time or since we started the channel, thank you guys so much for your support. Now is the time to reach out for consultations. We're opening calendar for consultations and spell work. Uh, I feel like this whole year uh, we've been booked most of the time and only we've opened calendar, I think only once or twice this year, um, but we are now open. So if you guys are interested, definitely hit us up and let us know. All righty, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, the first card that popped out is the Five of Pentacles. So there is a lot of, a lot of emotions going on here, Pisces. Um, this is a feeling of, I feel that there is a rebirth that you guys are currently experiencing or have been experiencing the past couple of months. It's almost like assessing is what I'm hearing. Assessing friendships, assessing um, connections, assessing the people around you. Are they motivating you? Are they doing good and bringing positive energy to your life? I see a lot of you guys cutting out friends, cutting out uh, people that you trusted at some point. It's almost the feeling of finally being able to see their true colors. For some of you guys, this could even be dealing with your partner. Um, for those of you guys that have been on a rocky situation or rocky relationship, it's almost the feeling of finally being able to see um, their true colors or see who, who they really are. And you're no longer looking or viewing at them through rose-colored glasses. Now, your next card here is the Five of Cups. So we have two fives. There's a lot of inner struggle that's going on with you guys. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be in or, or dealing with the situation where there is a feeling of, it, it's almost like knowing what the heart wants, but it doesn't, it doesn't connect with what your mind is telling you. It's almost like being torn between two decisions or being torn towards holding on to something that is just not working, but also feeling like you don't have the courage to walk away from this. Um, a lot of hesitation that's going on right here. We have the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is presenting itself to you, Pisces. They're asking you to internalize, but more than internalize, it's about working in your self-healing. For some of you guys, there's some type of recovery that's going on, and I feel that for a lot of you guys, uh, that are currently going through some type of healing or some type of recovery, um, you're really being able to see, are you being nurtured? Are you being taken care of? Is your partner worried about you? Are they checking on you? Or are they cold and distant? Whatever it is that you're currently going through, I see you guys really, really seeing things from a non-emotional side now. It's almost like before you would, you know, lead with your heart but now it's like you're starting to listen to what your mind is telling you. You're starting to tune in 
and not be as connected emotionally that it's making you make the right decision for you, Pisces. Your next card here is the Nine of Pentacles with the King of Cups. For some of you guys, there's some type of separation, some type of distancing between you and your partner. I feel that you've been trying to hold on to this situation for quite a while. Uh, for some of you guys, again, like I said, I feel that you've gotten to the point where you realize that you have to protect yourself, that you have to protect your heart, even if it means becoming a little bit standoffish or becoming a little bit, I wouldn't say cold, but a bit distant to see if they're willing to put in the effort or put, you know, kind of meet you halfway is what I'm hearing. But with the nine of pentacles, it's like they're embracing, uh, again, like I said, if there is some type of disconnect here or some type of giving each other some space and some room, I feel that they're really like relishing in this type of energy. I feel that for a lot of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where there is a separation or a temporary separation and you're over here breaking down and, you know, internalizing all your emotions while they may be showing a facade of like having fun and living their best life. And this is becoming very overly, um, overly emotional for you. It's like you're trying to be strong and make the right decisions. But at the same time, it's like they're really testing you. Um, and we all know Pisces are soft hearted people. But when you hurt a Pisces and when they've made up their mind, there is no turning back. And I feel that they're starting, you're starting to see them really for who they are. And you understand what you deserve, Pisces, and you understand what you bring to the table. And this is you realizing here with the King of Cups, realizing that you deserve to be treated right, that you deserve a person that is emotionally mature, that is going to be there for you in good and in bad. Finally, your last card here is the Three of Pentacles. So... For those of you guys that have been in a separation or there was some type of pulling away or giving each other some room, some space, I feel that you're going to be ex experiencing being a bit guarded this month, uh, Pisces. I feel that you're not really overly emotional connecting with, you know, listening to your heart. Oh, my heart is telling me that I miss them so much. Let me reach out. No, I see you guys more of like internalizing, okay, if they're not reaching out and they're not communicating, that means they want to be single. And if they want to be single, then that means I need to start embracing the fact that this may not be something that is worth fighting for. And I see you guys pulling your energy. I see you guys more like tuning into loving and nurturing yourself and worried about yourself, something you haven't done in quite a while, Pisces. I do see them reaching out. I feel like it's not completely over this connection or the person you're dealing with. Um, and they will be trying to come back around and trying to connect with you or trying to get in your good graces. However, I feel that the more time that they give you, in retrospect, they're giving themselves, right? More free time. I feel that the more the time progresses, the stronger you become, Pisces. That it'll get to the point where they will reach out but at that point in time, you're going to be much more stronger and much more confident in yourself and in what you deserve. So ultimately, I do see them reaching out, but I feel you're going to be more guarded and more comfortable in your own skin to be okay with letting them walk away. Why? Because I see you embracing, um, embracing the single life or embracing being single for a bit because you're trying to refine yourself all over again or fall in love with yourself all over again. I hope that this gives you some type of insight, some type of guidance. I wish you guys the very best. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see each other soon. Bye.